It's no secret that the relationship shared by Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton is rocky to say the least. We've seen both of them share cold remarks over the last few years, but it seems like things have gotten slightly worse especially taking their most recent race into consideration. A fresh collision between the two drivers have driven the tensions even higher. In today's video, we'll be telling you all about this clash and how Alonso reacted to it. So let's jump right in. Those of you who happened to watch the Belgian Grand Prix last week must have seen the unfortunate collision that Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso were involved in. And if you somehow missed it, then don't worry, we've got you covered. In the first lap of the race, Hamilton happened to hit Alonso's tire, which sent our dear Ham flying. Now, we aren't really sure about who's to blame for this accident, but here's the thing. Your opinion of both drivers would definitely play a major role in this. You want to know what happened next? Well, after the crash, Alonso launched into a roast against the seven-time world champ. It was somewhat explosive, much like the incident. And well, his words made it pretty obvious that the 41-year-old racer wasn't all that happy about this incident. In fact, he even ended up calling the Brit an idiot. Yikes, that's really harsh, don't you think? But hey, that's not all. The driver was also seen wagging his finger rather furiously at Hamilton after the collision. Well, one thing's for sure, their relationship would definitely need some time to recover from this crash. Moving on, let's take a look at what actually happened. The opening lap of the Belgian Grand Prix was perhaps the most eventful one even more than the final we dare say. While starting his race at Le Combe, Alonso was ahead of the Mercedes driver whose initial performance was nothing short of legendary. They were both able to whoosh past Sergio Perez with utter determination, but things went downhill when Hamilton tried to overtake Alonso. Maybe it was the timing or the fact that Alonso wasn't at all ready to let Hamilton get ahead because pretty soon the spectators saw the Mercedes flying in the air after hitting the Alpine racer's front left tire. That must have been scary for the Brit, but hey, he's not the seven-time world champion for nothing. Hamilton was soon able to regain control of his car. In the moments that followed this collision, we saw both Alonso and Hamilton try to regain their previous positions. So things seemed pretty all right for a second there, but Hamilton ended up receiving instructions from his team to stop his car. Turns out the damage caused to the car was too serious to be ignored. Well, that definitely made the race a total bust for the 37-year-old. Alonso, however, was doing just fine with his car, but that didn't stop him from launching a rant against Hamilton on his team radio. Wondering what he said? Well, we've got it right here for you. The Alpine Dracer didn't care about filters or showing any form of sportsmanship towards his longtime rival. Oh no. In fact, as we mentioned earlier, he straight up called him an idiot for everyone to hear. He went on to comment briskly on the Brit's driving style, saying that he, quote, had a mega start, but this guy only knows how to drive and start in first. Now, we don't know if this is truly a roast or a jumbled up compliment. Whatever way you want to perceive it, it is totally up to you. But the most shocking part of his reaction was the fact that the driver wagged his finger at the Brit. Yikes. It's important to note, though, that this isn't the first time we've found Alonso in such a situation. You might even remember his other infamous finger wag at Yuki Tsunoda at the Australian Grand Prix. Finally, others seem to think that Alonso is placing the blame on the right shoulders. And by that, we obviously mean Lewis Hamilton. The collision was further inspected by the stewards, but it seemed like they didn't find any major issue since no further action was taken about it. However, Merton Brundle, who's a former racing driver and currently works as a commentator on Sky News, seems to think otherwise. He went on to say that this collision wasn't, quote, Fernando's fault. According to him, Hamilton came in and ended up pinching him a bit. Well, if that's really the case, then we're sure glad that Alonso was able to take control of his car and stay in the race. But his reaction to us seems rather over the top. And it also makes us wonder if we would have reacted the same way had it been some other driver instead of Hamilton. Their intense rivalry over the years and Alonso's somewhat crude remarks against the Brit make us feel like this wouldn't have been the case at all. He might have kept the finger wag, but calling another driver an idiot definitely wouldn't have happened. Now, all Alonso fans might come up with justifications such as it was a spur of the moment thing. Yeah, of course that might be the case, but it's an internationally televised sport. Things just don't happen here like that. However, there's an alternative explanation for all of this. Maybe as the Alpine racer gets old, he's just losing all the patience he had for any driver that pulls such antics. If that's the case, then we wouldn't blame him for that at all. 
After all, he has been in Formula 1 for over 20 years. That's all we have to say for this latest development in Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso's relationship. We can't wait to see what's waiting for them in the future. Hopefully it won't include any more crashes. Now, let's catch you up with what else has been going on in the sport. First up, let's take a look at what Hamilton has to say about this unfortunate crash. Like we said earlier, the former McLaren teammates have never really gotten along, but this new incident revealed more cracks in their pretty much non-existent bond. Hamilton, after getting to know about Alonso rant after their collision, took the blame for their run-in that cost him the race. But when talking about Alonso's reaction, the Brit said he didn't really have a response to it. He further went on to say that he understood how one might feel in the heat of the moment and that it's nice to know how he feels. If only we could patch things up with them somehow. Have you ever seen such a resigned response to a roast? To be very honest, it's very mature of the driver. Hamilton went on to say that the accident was not intentional at all. Of course, how could it be when his actions ended up putting him out of the race? Finally, when asked if he was going to reach out to the driver, the seven-time world champion gave a negative response. He also said that he might have done so if Alonso hadn't reacted in such a way, but at this point, he really doesn't care. Oh well, things definitely seem to be getting worse between them. Next up, Alpine doesn't really regret Alonso's departure. We all pretty much expected the Spanish driver to sign up for a contract extension with his team, but recent news has ensured us that this won't be happening. Instead, it seems like Aston Martin will actually be acquiring the 41 year old from the next season. Wondering how they got here? Well, according to the racer himself, there was a stall amid negotiations which led to such a result. It seems to us that he has signed a multi year deal with Aston Martin, and Alpine doesn't really regret this. Alpine principal Otmar Svoner at the Belgian Grand Prix stated that the team is all right with this decision. In fact, they'll be using it as a teachable moment. According to him, Alonso wasn't happy with the deal they were offering. They also weren't ready to offer anything more. At the end of his interview, he wished the racer good luck, stating that he found whatever he was looking for. Well, good luck for him. We can't wait to see his performance and his new team in the next season. Lastly, Mick Schumacher and Ferrari seem to be going their separate ways. It's no secret that the young Schumacher has had a tough time in the sport, especially this previous season. The son of the seven-time Formula World Champion doesn't have any confirmation of an extension with his current team, Haas, and from the look of it, his contract with the Ferrari Driver Academy. It's even suspected that the driver might not have a team for the 2023 season. Now that's gotta be scary for him. Schumacher following his father's footsteps joined the FBA in 2019 after winning the 2018 European F3 Championship. It was actually his Ferrari connections that helped him get a seat with Haas in 2021. Currently, only Alpine and Williams have positions open as long-term deals have already been locked with Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Sounds like a tough time for the poor driver. We hope that he's able to find his way out of it. That's a wrap for this video, guys. What do you think of Alonso's reaction to his collision with Hamilton? Do you think it was a fair reaction? Was it even Hamilton's fault? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this.